I'm Cynical Zombie, and we're going off trail. Good morning, everybody. I am coming to you this morning from the village of Algonquin, Illinois. I am right here at Town Park, and we are going off trail. So I think it's been at least a month or so since I've been here to Town Park. In Town Park here, the parking lot is open, uh, but the park itself, uh, the playground over this way is closed. They're actively working on it right now, which is good. They also have the new restrooms right over this way, uh, and they're not obviously completely done yet. But so at this point, there is no restroom here at Town Park in Algonquin. A couple other things I've learned this morning. Uh, there is an event uh, happening in downtown uh, right on Main Street. They do have Main Street closed off. I wasn't actually sure if I'd be able to make it to this parking lot, but I had to go all the way around and come back from the south, and then I was able to make my way here. And the other thing I noticed is that there is, in fact, an event going on here on the Prairie Trail. You can see a tent set up over this way and some people in some shirts and stuff. All right, so let's take a look at the map here. So in this off-trail ride, uh, actually, most of the ride is indeed going to be on trail. There's a couple purposes for this ride today, the first of which is a subscriber reached out to let me know that Longmeadow Parkway is in fact open. So uh, I'm up here in Algonquin, so we're going to just take uh, the Prairie Trail until it ends and then the Fox River Trail down to Longmeadow Parkway. And then now that that's open, we're going to check out. We're going to go all the way down to where the trail ends. I looked on satellite view. It looks like the trail ends at Algonquin Road, Route 62. So we're going to go there and just turn around. There's a little tiny trail through this Hickory Hill Park I saw. So we're going to check that out. And then we're going to go the other way on Long Meadow. And I'm basically going to take it until the trail ends. It looks like the trail ends right here on Huntley Road. And then we're going to backtrack back to Brunner Family Forest Preserve, at which time I'm going to cut through the Forest Preserve to make my way to Raceway Woods Forest Preserve. Raceway Woods is a forest preserve I rode last year. You could check that video out if you're interested. There is a big car show going on at Raceway Woods Forest Preserve today. I I actually have a friend who has a car in the car show. So we're going to head to the ultimate destination today is that car show. And then we're going to make our way uh, back to Algonquin. According to all trails, assuming I'm going to be able to ride the entire uh, track here at Raceway Woods, uh, the ride should be in the realm of 28 miles with uh, the backtracking we're going to have to do on each of these four legs, basically. So I'm super excited to check out what this looks like and being able to see what else is down this way. I've never been down this way on Longmeadow Parkway, so it's going to be pretty cool to check out. So let's get started. All right, so we made it to Longmeadow Parkway here. We're at the section between the old and the new sections of trail. 
I have seen a couple cars go by here. So the trail continues. So for the very first time, let's check it out. Uh, we're going to continue heading this way here, but if your goal was to get to the other side of the river uh, into the Brunner Family Forest Preserve, you'd uh, cross right here, hang a left, go back the way we came on the other side, and then you'll be able to cross the Fox River. Uh, we're going to do that, but we're going to go down to see uh, where this trail ends first. Well, as you could see, the trail unceremoniously ends here at the intersection of Longmeadow Parkway and Algonquin Road, Illinois Route 62. Uh, so there is no trail across this way. You can't go to our right here, and you also can't go to the left here. So it literally is a dead end here, no trail. You'd have to get onto Algonquin Road if you wanted to continue riding. Though at least for a little while, it looks like there's a shoulder, so at least there's that. So at this point, I'm going to turn around and head into that Hickory Hill Park to see what this little trail and this little connector, see what that looks like. You know, I'm given the impression by looking around that this park is pretty new. I mean, or recently refreshed because uh, it still looks really nice. It would be nice if there was a restroom over this way. I do not see one. I see a disc golf thing. So it looks like yeah, people can play disc golf here. But uh, so here's that little trail. So let's go through and see what we got. Yeah, nice looking playground back here. They got the sheltered picnic areas. They have some benches, garbage cans, bike rack. All very cool. Well, I was wondering what this uh, building here was. According to the sign here, uh, looks like it was the former location of Woodland School. All right, so that was Hickory Hill Park. The other end of the trail comes right out here on, uh, I guess it would be like the Long Meadow Parkway Trail. Uh, so we're gonna start heading back this way. I gotta say though, uh, that park is really nice. Uh, I don't know how many houses have immediate access to it, but by that former school, there were a bunch of houses. Now, because of this, uh, every one of those residents has access to the Fox River Trail, uh, which is awesome. They can also safely cross the Fox River to get in to uh, a couple different forest preserves. So very, very nice. All right, as you can see, we made our way to the other side here of Longmeadow Parkway. Uh, they do have a nice crosswalk system. It's one of the newer styles. It's wide. It's very nice. It gets the job done. Uh, so now we're going to head this way. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but uh, way back there, there's the pedestrian bridge for the Brunner Forest Preserve. I don't see too many older guys on one wheels, but there goes one. That guy's definitely older than me. So it looks like this uh, 
this pillar here with uh, the Fox River logo uh, completely fenced off. I mean, you could go over there and get to it. Uh, it's a little strange. I suppose they put this fence here to prevent uh, people from smashing right into this because I guess it definitely technically on the trail here if you're just looking at the paved portion. Uh, nothing on this side. Uh, you can see the Fox River Trail down there, people running on it. So we're looking down at the Fox River Trail here. Uh, we are just south of mile marker number one. The sign over there, mile marker one. Pretty cool to see it from this point of view. I remember the old detour, I think that was in 2020 where it went around this way and like next to the street and then back over to the trail. Well, once you make your way to the Fox River on this bridge here, they have a nice popped out area, uh, which is cool. So you could stop and look around without being in the flow of any traffic uh, on the uh, pedestrian trail here. As you saw, we just crossed that pedestrian bridge behind us. So now we've made it uh, to the Brunner Trail here at uh, the Brunner Family Forest Preserve. We're actually gonna come back to this location and cut through it to make our way to Raceway Woods. Uh, but for now, uh, I'm just gonna start heading west. And according to all trails here, there's a trail that continues all the way to this point here. So it's past Randall Road and past Boyer Road, apparently uh, that's where it ends. So let's check this out, heading west. All right, so this section of trail ends uh, very unceremoniously here at the Willow Creek uh, over here. I'm actually surprised the trail doesn't continue. Uh, it's developed land, so it's interesting that they didn't have them put the trail in all the way to where the land becomes undeveloped again. But this is another instance of Huntley getting screwed. If the trail were to continue, uh, you'd be able to make your way all the way to Huntley. If you saw my Huntley dinner ride video, you would have seen the ride from East on D to uh, Barbecue King Smokehouse in Huntley. In that video, I show a way to get basically from Algonquin to Huntley. 
uh, this trail here, if it were to continue, would take you all the way to Huntley. And if they connected the two ends of the trail together, uh, it would make for a really uh, good, safe ride. So we're here at the end of the trail. Uh, the trail picks up here on the same road. This is Huntley Road here. Uh, Longmeadow Parkway stopped at the light. And you could see, if not, I'll put it on screen. Uh, the trail picks up again here. And then once you're here, you can make your way uh, to the downtown Huntley area and then go to Barbecue King that way. It just sucks that between here and here, I'll put up what uh, the distance is because I'm not exactly sure, but it sucks that this section of trail is not done because this would give another way for the people of Huntley to have access to one of the largest trail systems in Northern Illinois. Because once you can make your way to the Prairie Trail or the Fox River Trail, you have access to a ton of areas and a ton of other trails. So if they ever connect this end to that end, it's gonna make for a great ride into Huntley and you'll be able to take the Fox River Trail, take the Long Meadow Parkway Trail, uh, continue, make your way straight into Huntley and you'd have a good safe way back. So at this point, all that's left to do for us is to backtrack here. We're gonna make our way into the Brunner Family Forest Preserve and through the trails there. And then uh, we're gonna end up having to cross 31 into Raceway Woods to check out that car show. All right, so we're back at the exit ramp here uh, to get into the Brunner Family Forest Preserve, and we're going to hop on the pedestrian bridge and take it south. I do notice that the sign here still says sidewalk closed. Uh, they should definitely remove that because the sidewalk is definitely not closed anymore. Not exactly sure what's going on this way, but it does say sidewalk is closed. Maybe that's because they're trying to raise it up or put something underneath or something for drainage.
All right, so it's at this point where we're uh, basically near the very southern end of the Brunner Family Forest Preserve Trail. I think it technically ends up here. What I'm gonna do here is in order to get to Raceway Woods, which as you could see is directly across 31, uh, so we're going to go on a couple of side streets here and then unfortunately we're going to have to cross on 31 and ride a little on the shoulder. It's a very small little bit uh, and, but, and this will be the first time I've actually done it so we'll see how it goes. I imagine it'll be fine uh, to get into this parking lot where we could gain access to the Raceway Woods uh, trail here. I just got three things to say. God bless our troops. God bless America. And gentlemen, start your engine!
All right, so as you can see, we made our way to Raceway Woods, the former uh, Meadowdale uh, International Raceway here. So as you saw, I made my way around the full uh, circuit here of uh, the racetrack and uh, right through a car show, M-I-R-P-A car show. Uh, there are signs all over the place saying uh, where uh, the cars are supposed to go and where they're not. So the vast majority of the trail today was not supposed to be accessible to these cars. And so far, that's what I've seen, so that's good. Uh, over this way is the, the entrance that we came in on Route 31. This is uh, apparently the entrance and exit for those who are in the car show. As you saw, I had to get out of the way of a car that was uh, coming into the show. I definitely don't see that often on a bike trail, but I do appreciate the raceway aspect of Raceway Woods here. Uh, in fact, here comes a car right now. Looks like a, I don't know, it says 240 on the side. Not exactly sure what this guy is here. Volvo. Let's see what we got here. There's another little guy. Look at that. That's like a Mr. Bean car. I mean, I don't know if that's actually right, but that's what it reminds me of. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know that I've been to a handful of car shows uh, right off of bike trails or bike trail rides that I was on. We'd stop, we'd see a car show, we'd stop, look around. But this is the first time where I actually know somebody who has a car in the show. So uh, I'm definitely glad to be here today. I'm definitely glad it warmed up because uh, when I first started this morning, it was in the 40s. Uh, definitely not something I want to see in early September, but you know, uh, we are getting closer and closer to fall every day. So let me know what you think of this off-trail ride in the comments below. If you are familiar with this area and you know of somewhere I should check out the next time I'm here, definitely let me know. As always, if you enjoy this content, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow. If you are interested in supporting this channel and helping us get to more trails, please consider a super thanks. And that's all I got today from Raceway Woods. I'll catch you on the next ride. Do you have a trail recommendation for me? Let me know in the comments below.